Susan Skilleter was an avid rare books collector. One of the areas she focused on was Italian accounts of the Ottomans, of their history, government, religion and customs. One of the earliest books in her collection is the 1540 edition of Paolo Giovio's Commentario delle Cose di Turchi. Paolo Giovio was born in Como in 1483, studied medicine and philosophy in Pavia and Padua, and died in Florence in 1552. His Commentario, which was first published in Rome in 1532, contains sections on the Ottoman rulers from Orhan to Suleiman. This account of Ottoman history is particularly interesting in that it gives insights into how the Ottomans were viewed by an eminent intellectual and prolific writer from the Italian peninsula in the mid-16th century. The details the book provides, while not necessarily historically accurate, are at the same time revealing of the understanding of the period. The first sections of the book are short, that for Orhan being less than half a page. Jovia describes Orhan as well provided with and ingenious concerning the requisites of warfare. He was, Jovia explains, the first ruler to ennoble himself, marrying the daughter of the king of Karaman. He died as a result of injuries sustained during the successful storming of Bursa. His successor Murat I received slightly more coverage. Jovio explains that Murat crossed into Europe because of the reports he received from his soldiers who told him what a beautiful land Greece was and how confused were the minds of the divided Greek barons. Murat therefore sailed over the straits with the help of two Genoese ships, the Intiriana and the Squarcifica, together with 70,000 Turks. The section ends with the death of Murat at the hands of a Serbian slave vindicating the death of the Serbian ruler Lazar. Jovio also provides a section covering the interregnum after the defeat of Bayezid at the Battle of Ankara in 1402. This section is on a ruler called Calepino, identified as one of the sons of Bayezid. Jovio notes, however, that this ruler's name was actually Kiris Celebi, not Calepino, as believed by Niccolò Sagandino, who wrote a genealogy of the Ottomans for Pope Pius II. Niccolò Segondino was, in fact, a native of Negroponte, who often worked for Venice. He was taken prisoner by the Ottomans and held for 13 months after the fall of Thessaloniki in 1430. He acted as interpreter at the Council of Florence and was sent with the Venetian envoy Bartolomeo Marcello to the Ottoman court in 1453 to discuss peace terms. In early 1454, he wrote a report on the intentions of the Ottoman ruler, Mehmed II, for Alfonso V, King of Aragon, an expanded version of which was presented to Pope Pius II in 1456, for whom he also wrote De origine et gestis turcorum liber. It was as a result of Secondino's identification, Jovio writes, that almost everyone had from then on persisted in incorrectly calling this ruler Calepino. The so-called Calepino in Jovio's account ruled for about five years before dying at a young age. He was succeeded by Mehmed I, one of the two sons of Calepino, the other being called Orhan. Quite who Kiddish Celebi or Calepino in fact was is unclear. What is clear is that there was considerable confusion about the period between the fall of Bayezid and the reign of Mehmed I. The pleasure of being able to sit in the centre and physically leaf through a book from 1540 is something that remains forever exciting.